Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Victory 4x4. In this video, I'll walk you through our bedside Molly panel installation on a 2022 Nissan Frontier. Now, if your truck is equipped with them, we're gonna first need to remove these factory accessory rails. For that, you need a T40 Torx socket. And then what you're gonna find on the back of all the mounting hardware here is some little retainer washers that kind of hold the bolts to the rail for assembly purposes. For those, you kind of want to back the bolts about halfway out and then work your way back through and loosen them the rest of the way. That should keep them attached to this rail throughout the process. So with that removed, you can kind of see those washers and retainers there. You can just leave the bolts in place here and then this whole assembly will reinstall with our panel once that all goes into place. And then for those of you that don't have these rails, don't worry, we provide you with flanged hex head M8 bolts to go back in place here and your truck should still have all this same threaded mounting locations on the bedside. And then just since this rail is made of two pieces, you follow that same process here, getting the front section removed. Next, you'll need a 12 millimeter socket to remove the mounting hardware here for these tie down points. Now at the front of the bed, these will not be reinstalled and can just be discarded. The ones at the rear, however, can be reinstalled using the same factory hardware. So now we'll take the two sections of the molly panel and get them bolted together. That's simply going to be sliding the two sections so they're overlapping like so and then finding the 5 16 button head hardware in your bolt pack. Bolts from the outside in with serrated flange nuts here on the back. Then once you have all three started, you can take a 3 16 hex and tighten these up. Next we'll install the upper mounting brackets to the panel. They're gonna install in this orientation to the back side of the panel here. There's just gonna be five roughly quarter inch holes here along the top of the panel that those are gonna bolt into. For that you want a quarter 20 flange lock nut on the back and then a quarter 20 button head bolt from the outside. And then with each of these, I'm just gonna get it kind of placed vertically here and roughly centered in its slot and kind of lightly snug it up with my 5 seconds hex, leaving just a little bit of room for adjustment here as we're getting the panel installed. Then moving back into the bed, we'll install the two lower mounting brackets. The longer one here with the hole cut out is gonna be the front lower mount. This is gonna be the rear. So you'll take your tie down hook facing up and install this back into that factory mounting location. Now you should be able with these lower mounts to just center them on their slots and tighten them up. And then you may have to loosen them temporarily to make some minor adjustments when the whole bedside molly is going in place. Now I mentioned earlier that your front tie down will not be reinstalled. However, you will want to grab the hardware from that to install this front bracket. Again, this one steps kind of down and out and just reinstalls into that tie down hook mounting location. Same deal here, kind of center it up and snug it into place. Now with the lower brackets in place, I've grabbed the molly panel itself and kind of loosely placed it in here. Now I'm also gonna grab the larger section of the accessory rail and kind of begin lining it up with our brackets. 
and then it's just going to be a matter of kind of lifting this into place and getting it lined up so that we can start a couple of these bolts. Now with the rear section of the rail kind of supporting the majority of the panel, we'll also install this front section pretty much in the same manner. Just get it lined up and get a couple of these bolts started. And then we'll leave all of this just a little bit loose for now while we go down and install the lower mounting hardware. That lower hardware is just gonna be more 5 16 button head and flange nuts that you installed earlier on to bolt these two panels together. You'll just take the nut, slide it behind this lower mount and get it kind of loosely lined up on the hole. And then you can thread that button head in here from the outside. And then same thing here on the rear lower bracket, 5 16 button head. And then at this point you can take a 3 16 hex and tighten these lower bolts up. Then come back with a 5 32 hex and tighten all your quarter inch button heads along the top. Followed by all the remaining hardware, bolting the accessory rail back into place. Then with all your hardware tight, your installation is complete. So if you guys have any questions about this install or anything else here at Victory 4x4, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can always email us at info at victory4x4.com or give us a call at 269-459-8447.